start recording. Hooray. Okay, so we're doing... Oh, cool. And it's looking at my screen. So we're doing this. Yep. This, this crazy built looking thing. <laughs> um, and right now we're looking for interesting ways to build like those kind of crescent shapes. It's like kind of like a boat, a crescent. Yep. It reminds me a lot of uh, the the pedals that, that Amber is doing also. And I think there are a lot of ways that you, you could build this. Let's try some of them. Um, yeah, man, there are, there are a bunch of ways I think we probably could do this. OK. I'm going to just start building something. Sure. We're going to try a couple different ways, and maybe it, maybe it helps. OK. Out. So. Um, and I, I imagine added, I added this extra plane with this over here. Okay. Does it need the depth of that? Like, will it go to that? Like, I'm just still kind of confused how these surfaces. Yeah, work, yeah, yeah. What it, all they need. Yeah, to, yeah. To to resolve. resolve kind yeah. Of. Okay. Yeah. That's and and that's honestly like the trickiest part is kind of figuring out which sketches to put in place, connected in which way, so that they eventually like all link up together at some point. Um. All right, there are a couple ways, man, that we could do this. Um, all right, so I'll, I'll go with my first instinct, and then we'll sure, kind of totally. try a couple other ones that are maybe closer to your instinct, which was more like using a sweep or some sort of loft sure. following those profiles. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so I'm going to start with... Um, I'm going to start on the, where is it, my top plane really quick and just sketch in a line that goes to like the center of some of these curves. Um, and this is just going to be a reference for me. In totally. The, and is this, is this all in the same sketch? This is in, I just made a new sketch. Oh, okay. geez, I'm on the wrong plane. Because, right, yeah, that always happens to me, and I try to go in the sketch, and then it makes the other stuff disappear, <laughs> so I can't even, like, connect it to. All right, top plane. Uh, I, I want a plane, like, oh, my gosh. My mouse is, like, on its last legs here. Um, okay, so I'm going to, I really, I just want a plane, like, cutting through the middle this way of your, okay. of your boat plane. Yeah, I had that originally. Okay. Um, so that's that's how I'm building really quick is a reference plane in here in the middle of your boat. Okay, cool. Next thing I'm going to do is all right, just stick with me for a second. Sketch something that is Inches here. Right. Oh yeah, I, I chose this inches. Okay. Sorry. No, it's it's fine. All right. So I'm I'm doing a little sketch on the side here. I'm gonna call this like my master right sketch for for now. Um, I guess it's not on the right plane. It's on this other plane. And I'm gonna use this and this. Instruction. I'm going to make a surface that's revolved. Okay. Okay, so I just made this weird dome like surface. Yeah. And then I'm going to sketch on this other plane that you have 
sort of like the cut, the shape that you have that you, you want here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to like extend it out so it's like all the way through like the edge of this, this thing here. And I'm going to use it to trim and you can kind of like cut away part of my surface. I'm going to cut away, sorry. Uh, I'm using, let me just do that again really quick. So I'm going to do oh, told, I'm just... the, uh, the trim tool, make sure it's a standard trim, not a mutual trim, which allows me to say I'm going to take a sketch and use it to trim a surface. I'm going to like cut away that part of my surface. Sweet. Okay. Um, all right, so like that's one piece of this puzzle. The next thing I might want to do is I'm going to sketch on that front plane again and uh, convert like the bottom of your boat. I guess it's here. It's kind of the bottom of your boat. Yep, that works for me. Um, make sure it's all the way out. Go back to surfaces. Do a trim. I'm, my trim tool is the sketch. What am I going to either keep or remove? I'm going to remove this part. Okay. Um, wow. All right. So, like, we're starting to get a shape that's that's like kind of no, close. I mean, that's, that's crazy. But I think there's some things that need to adjust because in your sketch here, realistically, it would be like, a flat bottom. Like a flat so bottom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to SolidWorks. Um, and actually, let me, let so me if we do like the full curve bottom, it's not going to be able to stand up. Right, right. it won't. Yeah. Okay, let's try let's back to this this trim that I just made. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back in here and edit this. And I'm not going to trim it like this. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to do like up from this point down to the bottom of the boat as like a curve. I'm going to make the bottom of the boat and then like that's the middle of my boat so I might like make a little construction line there and mirror this guy over that construction line oops let's try that again mirror it over there make sure these are connected okay so I have like a different trim sketch this time I'm going to get out of here and see if it trims it. No, it doesn't like it. Let's remove your Y. Oh, that's why. Like that thing so wants to trim down that the too. That yeah. off. Okay. Maybe I got to just... How, how did you find that? That line? Yeah. Um, I don't want to delete it. That line is something I, I built in this other like side sketch. Okay. And I just like converted it over. Because whenever um, I do this, I get that far, and it tells me no, and then I just say crap. <laughs> yeah. I just give up and start again. No, that's and that's that's sort of a, a thing with SolidWorks. Sometimes it just doesn't like it. Okay, so it is like a construction line. Let's try this again. So I'm gonna just like delete this feature, and we're gonna start from. The, so I have that sketch. There's that sketch. Um, I'm gonna do my surface trim with that sketch, but instead of picking the sketch, instead of picking the sketch, <laughs> I'm going to right click and say select other, and then I think, why won't you let me just like pick the line? Oh, apparently that worked. Apparently that worked, because now it's letting me like just yep, remove this part. Okay. Okay, so Lovely. that's like part of it, right? Yep. Okay. Um, I'm just going to hide this one for now. Okay, so let's just take a look at that one more time. Like, what, what happens to get this far? So I'm going to, like, rewind back. Is, is this filming? Yeah, it's filming. Oh, that's awesome. So I, I kind of thought that this shape that you wanted to make mm -hmm. in this sketch looked like maybe I could make it by, like, creating a disc like this. Yeah. And then hacking away part of the disc to make that like crescent moon shape. That was, that's what you just did, right? Yeah, that's okay, that's, that's yeah. kind of what I just did. It was like I made a disc, so I had to make a sketch, you know, that would let me revolve this disc shape. Then I used this other sketch that you had that has like the shape at the top of so, it to cut it. 
Yeah. And then I cut away the bottom of it also. That's crazy. So okay. conceptually, I guess the takeaway is like, um, so no, you don't you don't always simple shape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just carved away. Yeah, you don't always have to like build the perfect surface with like all the perfect sketches the first try. Sometimes it's easier to think about it like, all right, I'm going to start with just like a really simple shape, and then cut the shape in a couple different ways to to end up with like the shape that you're you're trying. So to get surface to. trimming is our yeah. Surface trimming, yeah, yeah, exactly. Surface trimming is our friend. Um, the next thing I might do here really is Thank like, uh, and I think if this looks kind of the way you would want, you could do something similar for these other shapes too. Just keep making more discs. Yeah, them. yeah, exactly. So let me try something else really quick here. Um, I'm going to mirror over that like middle plane. Oops, did I get the right one? Yeah, I think so. And I want to mirror that body. Okay, so there's like the front and back. And I believe in order to con connect these two, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try like the quick and dirty way, which is just a <laughs> loft. Where I'm gonna like uh, right oh god. I'm gonna right click on this edge and use a selection manager so that I can pick like all these edges together. Ooh, I never knew about that. Yeah, because sometimes <laughs> it will only let you pick like a single edge and then try to map it to something else. Yeah. This tool will let you do a bunch. And then I'm going to do it again, pick all three of these guys and say OK. And uh, it looks like maybe it's not liking it. I'm catching it. OK, screw it. We're going to try the other way then. So I'm going to sketch on my like front plane. And remember that sketch I used to like cut the outside of this thing? The trim it's, surface? Yeah, the trim surface one. It's buried in here somewhere. There it is. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna take that sketch and convert it onto my new sketch and make a surface that it just extrudes out. I'm gonna say mid plane means like extrude yep. in both directions. I'm gonna go like all the way just out. Just like way out. Touches the outermost. Bingo. And then I think I should be able to do, once again, some surface trimming. Yep. This time, instead of a standard trim, because I'm using two surfaces to kind of trim each other, I'm going to say mutual. I'm going to pick all of these surfaces that I want to interact with one another, and then go over here and say I'm going to, I'm going to remove that one and that one oh, wow. and say OK. That worked perfect. All right, so now we have something that's like kind of boat, boaty. Um, the next thing that you wanted to do with this is, um, like, you can imagine if I did, actually, let's see it really quick. I'm going to save. I could, like, loft this to this, and it would give me, like, never mind, it wouldn't. <laughs> Hypothetically. Hypothetically, it would give me, like, a flat surface across the top. Another way to do it, because you wanted it to be kind of like scalloped out on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind think, of like Pringle or something. Kind of, yeah, Pringle it a little bit. Um, I think what we might be able to do is put a sketch like in the middle of our boat that is a slightly different line. So from that to that and like deeper. Just somewhere down there. Just somewhere down there. You could dimension it if you wanted to. And then then and like I hope this works. Let's try doing a loft from <coughs> that line to that sketch. It does like that. Ooh. Up to here. Okay. We're gonna do it in halves then. Um I'm just gonna say okay. It looks like it did it. And that's one more thing that I can mirror over. So like go up to the mirror, pick that whatever it is, the front plane, which one do I want to mirror, that guy. Okay. Okay, so we're like close. Eventually what we have to do with all of our surfaces is in surfaces knit them together. So like I pick all these different surfaces that okay. aren't attached. Because it doesn't recognize it as like one cohesive right. piece. Right. It's like okay. a bunch of little surfaces that you want to add together, and then eventually, like if you completely enclose this, like there aren't any holes or gaps, this little create solid option will pop up, and now that's a solid body. Oh, nice. It's not a surface anymore. Um, what that should let us do is do things like add a fillet. Oh wait, I don't want a surface fillet. I want a regular fillet in there. 
maybe it doesn't like it. It's basically at the end of all these things, then all of a sudden done, like knit surface is like 100% necessary. Like it's like kind of like the finishing piece. That's like the finishing piece. You want this to be a solid at the end so okay. that it prints. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so the next thing, all right, let's try one more thing here. So that's a way that I might do the bottom. Mm -hmm. These these ones are a little bit different because they're a sketch. Actually, no, they're, they're kind of the same shape, aren't they? They're just smaller. They're just yeah. kind of smaller and moved up. So actually, if you wanted to cheat it. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, but they're they're flat. Like I guess you could if you wanted, um, like move this thing and copy it by like moving it up. I never did it. And then do another one where I like scale it down. There should be a scale feature somewhere. Maybe it's under like scale. Wow, it's almost like SolidWorks X is a real program. Isn't that weird? Like Adobe or something. Yeah. Like and like the this copy is seventy five percent, and like okay, Jeez. right? Because they're kind of the same shape. That you might. Urban, I thought it was an urban legend. Yeah, have you seen anything like it? I'm also kind of curious if because we kind of want the bottom of these to be round. Yeah, you might have to kind of rebuild them and use like a different bottom <laughs> trim. Yeah, continuing. Exactly, through. but I also have a feeling that. Maybe. Oh, maybe. If you use this cheap little oh. delete, no. delete face, <laughs> uh, kind of, Whoa. not quite. Whoa. Like, uh, like kind of yeah. Nice. I mean, if we get that get that centerpiece going through, yeah. it could just catch it right. Could catch it right so. before. Anyway, the, uh, dip out. That's an immense help. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll stop you there. That's one see. way to do it. Uh, what were the other things? Let me, I'll, I'll pause this really quick. Stop.